I'm going to introduce 10 retro open face helmets, so hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. But before I get into the helmets, I just want to quickly touch on helmet shell sizes. Now helmets can have different shell sizes across the size range as you can see in this picture. This allows the helmet to be proportional to your head size and avoids any excessive padding and weight. Now vintage helmets tend to be a lot more compact than modern helmets and this is down to modern safety standards. You can't realistically expect to get a modern helmet with ECE certification that's as small as a vintage helmet. But there's still lots of nice helmets out there that are reasonably compact and look really nice. The other thing is, just a quick tip, one way to detract from the size of a crown of an open face helmet is to put a peak on it. This then allows the crown to be less visible. Just stick it on here, like that. Although this helmet is pretty small anyway. So the first helmet I'm going to get into is the AGV X70. This is part of their Legend series, which is part of their vintage style line. It comes in three shell sizes and is priced from £149.99. It has a fiberglass shell, a double D-ring fastener, what AGV calls eco leather trim, I assume that means synthetic leather trim, and a synthetic suede liner. In my experience, AGV helmets are made really nicely and are pretty comfortable, so I don't see why the AGV X70 would be any different. It comes in really nice colours, including vintage race replicas, so definitely one I'd recommend. Next is the AFX FX76 helmet. This comes in three shell sizes and is priced from £79.99. Has a fiberglass reinforced plastic, or what they call FRP, a double D-ring fastener, advanced conehead EPS liner, which apparently reduces weight, removable cheek pads, and AFX says a size large weighs in at 800 grams. If that's true, that's pretty impressive. The next helmet needs no introduction. It's the Bell Custom 500. It comes in an impressive five shell sizes, and is priced from £119.99. Has a multi-density EPS liner, a fiberglass shell or a carbon option, a double D-ring fastener and antibacterial interior. And as you probably already know, this comes in a multitude of colours, graphics, carbon and pretty much most of what you'd probably want. A very impressive helmet and one that deserves its reputation. The next helmet here is by TT & Co from Japan. This helmet is handmade in Tokyo, Japan and as far as I know there is no official importer for this helmet in the UK. However, it's a very nice looking helmet which happens to be based on the original vintage Bell Super Magnum helmet. It has a small low profile fiberglass shell. Um, unaware of how many shell sizes it comes in, I think it could only be one. It has a vegetable tanned cowhide trim, a goggle retention strap and comes in only three sizes, extra small, small and medium slash large and I think the reason for that is because it only comes in one shell size, however that shell is very compact. Next up is the Kberg Freeride. It comes in two shell sizes and is priced from £149.99. It has a fiberglass shell or a carbon option, a micrometric buckle fastener. There's no press studs for a helmet peak, but it does come with an anti-scratch visor included. It has a removable washable liner, a goggle retention strap, and is intercom ready. I have in fact tried this helmet. I can tell you it is quite compact, it's very very light and very comfortable so definitely it gets a thumbs up from me. Next is the Davida Speedster. It comes in two shell sizes and is priced from £270. The Speedster is handmade in the UK. It has a low profile close fitting shell. It's fully leather lined which is very very nice indeed. 
It has a double D-ring fastener and a goggle retention strap. The Davida Speedster is a really nice helmet that looks great with classic motorcycle gear. Next is a DMD Vintage. It comes in three shell sizes and is priced from £125. The DMD Vintage has a fiberglass shell, a double D-ring fastener system, really nice leather trim and a removable washable liner. A very nice looking helmet. The next helmet is from luxury brand Hedden. It's the Hedden Hedonist. It comes in three shell sizes and is priced from £309. It's handmade, has a composite fibre shell which consists of fiberglass and carbon, has a double D-ring fastener system, calf leather trim and calf leather lining, a goggle retention strap and is an ultra lightweight 800 to 900 grams according to Hedden. That's very impressive and it's a very nice looking helmet. Now hot on the heels of the Bell Custom 500 is the Rogue Jetson which comes in an impressive four shell sizes and is priced at £169.99. It has a polyfiber shell, a double D-ring fastener system, removable cheek pads, a nice looking leather trim and a rubber goggle patch on the back. Colorways are limited but it is a really nice looking helmet that will complement a classic bike very very nicely. Now last on the list is the LS2 Bob which comes in three shell sizes and is priced from £119.99. It has a fibre composite shell or a carbon option, multi-density EPS, double D-ring fastener, a drop-down visor, removable washable liner, leather trim, comes with a helmet peak in the box and has a goggle retention strap. Now the LS2 Bob is the only helmet here with a drop-down visor. I'm not a fan of drop-down visors myself, but I thought I'd include one. What I like about the LS2 Bob is that there's no logos on the entire helmet, which I really like. It shows that LS2 really done their homework this time. It also has a really nice vintage shaped peak and that's a nice touch. So I think you're getting a lot here for your money. So definitely the LS2 Bob is definitely worth a look. So there you have it, 10 retro open face helmets. If you like what you saw, remember to hit that subscribe button for more content. Thanks for watching.